Hey guys! So I've been gone for a little bit. Okay, I have an excuse. Uni has just started. So I've literally had no time for anything. So um, yeah. If you're wondering why I've just not been around, that's why. But I'm really like, I'm really trying to get back into things. It's just I needed the time to sort myself out because things have just been absolutely hectic at the moment. Um, I've just, whew, yeah, I've got lots of things to talk to you guys about, but um, I won't give it all away in this. I'll leave it for a couple of videos so I kind of like prompt myself to do more stuff. So yeah, sorry guys. So today's video is essentially just a collective haul. Um, of stuff that I've kind of just gathered. I honestly haven't been spending a lot of money. I just got a car. So petrol's a thing that costs a lot. So is food. Um, and I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but oh my god. Anyway, but I do have a couple of things to show you guys. So yeah, let's just get into it. I figure I'll start off with like beauty products and then work my way into clothes and fashion and that kind of stuff. I figure I'll just start with hair. Let's be honest, who can be stuffed waking up like an hour to half an hour earlier than you have to to like wash your hair and stuff? Um, I can't. That's why most of the time I just do my hair the night before and then it's kind of like I don't really need to do much to it in the morning, like if I've straightened it or something. Um, but I wash my hair the night before and if I sleep on it wet, which I sometimes kind of have to, my hair goes like kind of oily and greasy, which is why I got this. Um, far out, I cannot figure out how to say the brand of this. Batisti? Bat Batisti? I don't know. It's dry shampoo. This is the 200 milliliter bottle. Um, and it's, I got this one because my sister and I kind of share it and she doesn't like the original scent. So I got the coconut and exotic tropical one and it actually smells quite nice. Um, yeah, I, I just, it smells like coconut really, like a proper coconut as well. Like it doesn't, have any funny chemically smell. It really smells like how a coconut would taste, which I think is amazing. So I've been using that quite a bit. Um, and yeah, it's good. The other hair product that I got is by Protein. I'm pretty sure this is like an Aldi brand or something. But it's like heat, it is heat defense spray. Um, it's called Smooth and Shine Heat Protection Spray with UV filter. Helps protect hair against damage caused by heat styling. Helps prevent breakage and frees moisturizers and conditions for soft, healthy hair. This is the 180 milliliter one. I really like this. I tend to straighten my hair quite a bit, and this actually really helps. It stops it from being really frizzy and it ends up just so smooth and shiny and soft after I've used it, so I do recommend this one as well. I suppose I'll go on to face products now. I was using the Neutrogena Daily Face Scrub. I did not like it. Um, it was fine. I used it without the Neutrogena um, Acne Wash that I usually use in conjunction with like the face scrub. Um, but I, I decided not to because I wanted to see if it was actually doing anything because I'd used it for so long that I kind of just forgot. I really need to buy it again because my skin has gotten real bad. I don't know if you can tell on camera but I've like broken out all over my chin and my forehead and I mean, mm, yeah. But I recently got the Clearasil Daily Clear Deep Cleansing Scrub. I quite like this. I think that it's doing a lot more for my skin than the Neutrogena one did. I feel like my skin's not as 
oily and dewy after I've used it. Like I get really oily around my nose and using this, it's just, it's not dry, but it just like takes away the oil. And so it doesn't feel like, it doesn't even feel taut. It just feels like normal skin. So I quite like this. I've only just started using it though. Um, at this stage I probably can't say whether or not I would buy it again, but so far I really like it. This one is basically for just nights where you get home and you're freaking tired and you can't be bothered washing your face. So you kind of just take off your makeup and go to bed. You should not do that. But if you need to, or not need to, if you just can't be stuffed, um, I just got the Lacura Beauty Eye Makeup Removal Pads. They work for your whole face, but they do work quite well on eye makeup. It's not harsh, it's, they're quite, f they, they smell quite fresh and they kind of just, they do wake you up a little bit, um, but I quite like it and I quite like that it doesn't have like a really soapy feel like some of them kind of do. They just look like that. I don't have a lot to say about these, they're, they're fine, they're, they work. Um, they don't leave your skin gross and oily, they don't leave it over dried, it gets off the makeup, it, it's good, it works, it's not the, again, not the best one that I've ever used, but it's pretty good, I, I quite like it. Last is an actual makeup product, I suppose, um, and it is my only makeup product, I really haven't bought a lot of makeup recently, it just hasn't been high enough on my to-do list. Um, maybe when I have a little more money to chuck around, um, I'm thinking about buying um, a couple of new brushes and um, eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that, but until then, I got the by Maybelline, it's the Instant Age Rewind um, Eraser for Dark Circles. I have a feeling that I've shown this in a video before. If I have, sorry, and I will keep it brief, but this is actually quite good. It's light enough that it doesn't feel like you're caking up your face, but it's got a good enough consistency that it kind of covers up things as well, and it does work as a highlighter, um, which I really like. I really, really, really like this concealer. I would definitely buy it again. In fact, I'm thinking of making this my one of my holy grail makeup products so I like. That's all my beauty products now I suppose we'll do clothes. My maxi skirt the black and white one that I love has essentially just gone to shit. It's gross and it's like all fraying and stuff the material's gone all funny so I decided it was time to get rid of it and invest in some new maxi. I got my maxis from Glassens um, and I got a grey one and a black one. The black one looks like this. It's just straight up and down. No normal hem. It's like a jersey material. Um, and that's all there really is to it. Um, I also got a grey one. I am wearing it now. Ugh. This is what it looks like. It's just straight up and down. Jersey material. Figure hugging. Um, stretchy, comfortable. And, oh, yeah. There's nothing really much to them, but they're really good, they're really comfortable, and I like them. Um, the price I almost couldn't justify, they were $30 each. I thought that was a bit dear, but I was desperate. <laughs> so I just spent the money on them. I would have preferred to spend around 20 25 but whatever. That was all I got from Glassens, and that was a while ago now. I also got some bits and pieces from a shop called Butto. If there's anybody from countries that aren't Australia, um, because Butto is an Australian brand, it's, I would say it's more of an expensive brand of clothing. Um, I would say that it's a little more sophisticated. Uh, I really 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 like their stuff. Anyway yeah I'll just show you my stuff now. First up is kind of a... I don't, I don't know if I'd call it... I don't really know what to call this material. It's... it's called... 
a shimmer cami and it's called it's in the color black meta it's a size six um, this was $49.95 it's just you know it's a normal singlety top type thing Ooh, it's got uh, spaghetti straps it's just I would say that it's got a low-ish but not really low um, yeah I don't know I just thought it was a good basic um, I could I, I could wear this to work I could wear it out I could wear it to dinner I can dress it up I can dress it down I can do a lot of stuff with this so I liked it the other top I got from Bardo is this okay and this is called the raw sweater it's gray it's in size 6 and it was $60 now I'm going to show you guys this and I want you to see if you can figure out what brand of clothing this is ripping off completely I put this on my Instagram so you guys some of you might know already but it is a huge ripoff of the Kenzo jumper. Um, it is different. It's different enough so that it doesn't com come under copyright, but it's the same basic idea. So, yeah, I, honestly, I don't mind though. The Kenzo jumper is something like $150, $200, and let's face it, I don't have that kind of money. So, I really like this jumper, even though it's a huge ripoff. I will wear it lots and lots and I like it a lot. The next thing is it's it's fake leather, it's not real. Um, it's in the colour black, it's a size 6 and this was $80. It's just like a mini skirt. It's kind of like it's low in the front and then it's I mean it's high in the front and then it goes a little lower at the back. Um, it's got a zip closure. I really really like that detail and um, it fits really snug but I like it that way. I like the way that it fits. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just, I know it's almost winter here, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get wear out of this. I mean, if I really want to, I can layer tights and whatever underneath it. So quite like that. The last thing that I got from Bardot are these um, wet look black jeans. They're, um, called night low-rise jeggings um, so they're a little stretchier they're just kind of waxed um, and they they are cropped but I am really short so they're not cropped on me they're full length um, but yeah they've got like a little zip on the bottom of the leg and I don't know I just really enjoy them I think that they're gonna go with a lot and I've wanted a pair for a while, but I just haven't been able to fork out the money. Oh, they were $139.95, um, which I know is quite a bit, but I want clothes. I'm a girl. What can I do? Um, anyway, that's everything. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry that it's taken so long for me to put one out, but um, it's here now, and I'm going to try and get back into things. Videos may be a little more like sparse, but I'll be here. Okay. Um, thanks, guys. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.